pass on? Oh, thank you. Candle, Skip. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Hey! Hey! All right, everybody, for he's a jolly good skipper, one course and spit out the harmony. Oh. <laughs> For he's a jolly good skipper, for he's a jolly good skipper, which nobody can deny. Yeah. Yeah. I say, the gang, I, I would like to say that of all the birthdays I've ever had, this one's the best. I, uh, I give you a toast to the finest crew in any man's navy, the men of PT-73. Hold it, Skip. Would you mind toasting us separately? That way we get more drinks. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. I like to say happy birthday, too, like we do in the islands. Oh. This means long life. And this means much happiness. And this means many happy returns. Attention, Commander. Just let go of time to lay out. Oh. Yeah, you excuse us, you must have some friends of your own. Uh, uh, now, wait a minute, sir. I, I know this must look pretty bad, but, uh, well, now, there's a perfectly logical explanation. You see, the skipper and the girl were, uh, uh they had... Uh, <clears throat> when's court-martial? Well, now, wait a minute, Chuck. There's no panic here. Uh, look, the boys are throwing me a birthday party. So there's nothing in the book against that, is there, sir? No, but there are regulations, Mikhail, against raiding the officers' club. Oh, my private stock. Uh, <laughs> nurses off limits, the native girl off limits, you off limits with the native girl. Uh, all right, sir, all right. So you call us on a couple of technical fouls. Uh, as for the refreshments, why, you can put it on my tab at the officers' club. That's not what riles me, Mikhail. The thing that hurts me, the thing that cuts me right down deep where I live is... Why didn't you invite me to your birthday party? <laughs> What'd you say, sir? I said, why didn't you invite me to your birthday party? Quentin. 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 Oh, I realize that I'm your commanding officer, but there is no reason, after all, when the day's work is done, why we can't be friends, is there, buddy boy? Uh, the captain's flipped. Hey, you sick or something, Captain? You sure you feel all right? Oh, I never felt better in my life. A bartender, bartender, do your duty here. Yes, sir. As soon as I get rid of these empties. That's the job. Let's have fun, fun, fun. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, Elroy, looks like we're going to run a little short here. Bring a case from the base. <laughs> case from the base. I'll get the good stuff, the stuff I have locked in the safe. The champagne, sir, but you were saving that for VJ Day. It's Commander McHale's birthday, and the best is none too good. Oh, uh, uh, Carpenter. I should have a birthday present for my old friend here. <laughs> Excuse me, Clint. <laughs> Very good, sir. Excuse me. All right, let's liven things up here. Hey, Larry, start that music. Let's go here. Uh, which, uh, which one of you lovely ladies does the jitterbug? I feel very loose tonight. <laughs> uh, Captain, Captain, before you get too loose, sir, I think you ought to have a little talk. Oh, certainly. Anything you say, Quentin. Uh, you keep your motor running. I'll be right back. <laughs> right here, sir. Uh, what's on your mind, old pal? Well, sir, uh, it's the new you, sir. You notice. Hey, yes. Uh, not that I don't appreciate you uh, burying the hatchet, sir. Uh, but I'm kind of shook up, you know what I mean? Uh, what's the angle, Captain? Angle? Yes, sir. 
Does a simple seafaring man have to have an angle? A simple seafaring man? No. But you, sir? Well... <laughs> Come on now, Captain. What's all this sudden sweetness and light? All right, all right. I'll turn up my whole card. You're right, I, I do have an angle. I want you to do me a favor. I knew there was a catch to it. <laughs> what is it this time, sir? Ah, uh, suicide mission in Tokyo Bay? Oh, no. Oh, Michael, it's <laughs> nothing like that. No. That's all in the past. Yes. I need your help. Oh, yes. You see, uh... I'm up for another stripe. Huh? Commodore? Uh, <laughs> Naval personnel in Washington is sending out their Captain Wilson to check me out. Now, let's face it, Quint. If he get a load of this uh, operation that you're running here, well, he wouldn't recommend me for Commodore in the Japanese Navy. <laughs> I'm beginning to read you, Captain. Yes. Uh, Wally. At uh, Wally. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's asking a lot, Quint, but uh, you have a stake in this, too. You see, if I get this promotion, I'll move on up and out to Comfleet. Your big chance to get rid of me. Oh. In other words, uh, if we shape up, you ship up. <laughs> you got a deal, Wally. It's the least I can do for an old buddy. Now, let's get this party swinging. Now, we really got something to celebrate. <laughs> Excuse me, my dear. You, uh, you go and rest up now. <laughs> oh, to, to, oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I have your attention, everybody. Attention. Uh, I, I want to take this opportunity to give our guest of honor here a little token of my personal esteem. Oh, uh, yeah. Quentin. Oh, happy oh. birthday. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, you better put it in a bucket of water first, Skip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Captain. Oh, Captain, you shouldn't have. This is what I've always wanted, sir. Look, fellas, look what the Captain gave me. Oh. <laughs> All right, we plug front and center. Yeah. Uh, for he's a jolly good Commodore, and let's really hear it. Yeah. <laughs> for he's a jolly good Commodore. <laughs> Wonderful party, sir. It's just wonderful. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I must have got hold of a bad radish someplace. Oh, knock it off, Carpenter. They don't put radishes in martinis. <laughs> don't apologize for having a good time. I know I certainly did. <laughs> you know, sir, I don't understand one thing. What was that talk of Commodore... Bi what do you mean by the Commodore business? Well, I told Mikhail that Captain Wilson is coming out here to check me out for promotion. <laughs> check you out, sir? <laughs> But I thought you told me he was coming here to check out McHale for some stateside job at the PT training school. That's right, you numbskull. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. If McHale knew that, he'd go to any lengths to keep from being shipped out of here, right? <laughs> Very good, sir. That's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> you mean he thinks that he's getting rid of you and all the time you're getting rid of him? <laughs> oh, that's wonderful, sir. Yes, and you may be next. I'm finally gonna get rid of Mikhail. When I write my memoirs, this will go down as Binghamton's finest hour. Yeah, how's it going, Chuck? Huh? Oh, Skip, uh, yeah. Work party on schedule, sir. <laughs> well, as they say in the Navy, if it moves, salute it. If it doesn't, paint it, boy. <laughs> hey! The captains can't say we're not cooperating, now, boys. Oh, you bet, Skip. Anything to get rid of old lead bottom. <laughs> hey, Gru! What do you think you're doing? Making a supreme sacrifice. 
pouring out the batch of beer, I was brewing the depth charges. It's almost ripe, too. <laughs> McHale's Island. The only place in the world where the tide comes in with a head on it. <laughs> Ahoy there. Oh! Morning, Captain. Good morning, Quentin. Yeah. Morning, boys. Good, Good morning, morning, Captain. Captain. Just dropped by to see how Operation Cleanup was progressing. Ah, well, we're almost finished, sir. Yes, sir. The boys have really been working up a sweat for you, sir. Oh, <laughs> fine, fine. You got a nice hot day for it, too. Uh, yes, I? sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, Captain Wilson will be here tomorrow morning. You uh, suppose this paint job will be finished? Oh, yes, sir. It dries almost instantly. We put some alcohol in it. We swipe from the base hospital. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> oh, uh, boy, it sure is a scorcher. Here, allow me, sir. I'll wipe the oh, boy. Uh, here, wipe your windshield, sir. <laughs> I mean, uh, that won't be necessary, Anson. Thank you. Yeah, well, uh, Captain, why don't you come along with me, sir? <laughs> I want to show you what we've done over here. When the brass sees this, sir, they'll jump Commodore and promote you right up to Admiral, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. You don't know how much this means to me, Quentin. Or to us, Wally. <laughs> oh, well, wait a minute, Wally. Forgot your cap. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> why, you just... You couldn't help that, could you? That was just an accident. That could happen to anybody, couldn't it? Don't give it another thought, Nelson. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye, Captain. 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 Captain. Goodbye, Captain. Captain Wilson, uh, may I present my prize crew and their crack skipper, Lieutenant Commander Quentin McHale. Glad to know you, McHale. How do you do, sir? And uh, may I introduce my executive officer, Ensign Parker, sir? Mr. Parker? <laughs> uh, shall we proceed with the inspection, sir? <laughs> Yes, sir, McHale, I'd have to give you 4 0 on that engine room. Your boat's as immaculate below deck as she is topside. <laughs> well, that's McHale for you. Runs the tartar ship and the flotilla. Ah, uh, well, I simply follow the high standard you set, sir. <laughs> Don't be so modest. You should have seen his men when they reported here, Captain. They were raw, sloppy, untrained. McHale, he molded them into a precision unit. I tell you, he's a born instructor. Oh, you're too generous, sir. Why, he's the driving force around here, sir. Why, he couldn't get more out of his men, sir, if, if, if he were a Commodore. <laughs> Shall we proceed with the inspection, Captain? Yes. Don't be so modest, and that's an order. <laughs> oh. Well, I must say, Binghamton, you oh, certainly right with your men. Usually it's a picture of the president, or at least uh, <clears throat> Gypsy Rose Lee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I didn't uh, know that was there. I guess the men couldn't find any other place for it. Oh, no, 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 sir. On the contrary. The men wanted it here as an inspiration, sir. <laughs> oh, time to change the flowers. Oh, oh go right ahead. <laughs> Well, shall we move along, sir? <clears throat> Perhaps we should. <laughs> yes, sir, McHale, I'm really impressed. This operation you're running here is as efficient as any base in the Pacific. Well, I'm afraid I can't take any credit for that, sir. All I do is follow the procedures set up by Captain Binghamton at the main base. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm rather curious about that. Uh, why are these men stationed here on a separate island? How oh, have I they on there? Well, uh, as I told you, Captain, this is my prize crew, and I like to keep them separated so that uh, so that nothing will interfere with Commander McHale's unique training method. Ah, oh, there he goes again, sir, hiding his light under a bushel. <laughs> Actually, I'm just a bumbling old tramp steamer man. Captain Binghamton here is the tactical genius, sir. <laughs> here, here. Quiet, quiet. <laughs> Why, he maneuvers his little flotilla of PT boats like, uh, well, like Admiral Halsey operates the Pacific Fleet. <laughs> yeah, they're born leader, our captain. Uh, let's hear it for Captain Bigoton. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Belay that. Belay that. Belay it. I'd tear it for Commander McHale. Well, he's just a bumbling old tramp steamer man, sir. That's right, sir. What's 
save the cheering for later, huh? Oh, First, okay. I'd like to see this uh, prize crew of yours in action, Captain. Oh, I, I, oh can do, can do. I'm, I'm sending Mikhail on a special reconnaissance patrol tomorrow morning. You can go with him. Oh, fine, fine. That'll be just great. Oh, uh, Mikhail, uh, drop by the officers' club. I'll buy you a drink. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Mikhail, stop building me up like that. You think I put you up to it? Well, I'm just trying to help you with the promotion, sir. You'll do a good job on patrol tomorrow, and I'll get what I'm after. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Have a bye, sir. Bye. <laughs> wow. So that. <clears throat> so that's a McHale's whammy, huh? Yeah. How do you like it? Mister, that, that's got more authority than the Secretary of the Navy. <laughs> what's in it? Well, uh, we sort of make do with what's handy. You know, uh, when we run out of hospital alcohol, why, we use that old reliable torpedo juice. <laughs> Yeah, sounds like a drink we get in a little bar back in Norfolk. Oh. <laughs> they call it the death charge. <laughs> Remind me to give you the address. You can try it when you're back there next month. Uh, what do you mean when I'm back there next month? Yeah, boy. <laughs> I told you this drink had authority. <laughs> well, Mikhail, I, I promise to keep this on a QT, but uh, as long as you know about it, I might as well tell you the whole story. You're up for stateside duty as an instructor at our PT training school. Me? That's right. Binghamton recommended you. And if you're half as efficient at sea tomorrow as you've been ashore, <clears throat> you got it made. Captain Binghamton's idea, huh? Why is that dirty? Hmm? Ah, uh, I said the glass is dirty, sir. <laughs> uh, Barkey! Come on, another round of whammies over here. Make mine a double. <laughs> and that's right from the Navy brass, and that's the whole story. Why, that double-crossing son of a seahorse. Oh, he sure suckered us. What kind of a war is Binghamton running? He gives us more trouble than the Japanese. Hey, let's watch that. <laughs> Sorry, present company not included. I guess that means the end of the old PT-73. What are we gonna do, take this lying down, guys? There must be something we can do. Uh, it's too late now. Captain Wilson gets a little let skipper on the patrol tomorrow. We're really finished. Boy, it's, it's just too bad that we're such tigers in action. <laughs> Hey, hold it, Chuck. I think you gave me an idea. Oh, I have all the miserable things. Uh, I have? Yeah. Now, supposing I wasn't such a tiger on, on that patrol tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Suppose we show that, uh, that Captain Wilson what kind of slobs we can be if we really put our mind to it. Ah, uh, now you read me, huh? <laughs> Willie, do you think that you could dig up a phony sub on that sonar of yours tomorrow? <laughs> I can hear it pinging now. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by for action, boys. Because we can show that Navy brass that a nip-sup is the only one that can take a dive. <laughs> ah, it's good to be at sea again, Commander. Uh, think we'll see any action today? Uh, action? Well, there are some enemy ships in these waters. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> All right, I'll take over now, Mac. Oh, uh, well, uh, what's the course? Uh, well, 160, I think. 160? Uh, <clears throat> hey, you better watch it, kid. One six zero will take us right in the middle of Guadalcanal. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Gee, I, I must have picked up the wrong shot again. Uh, I'll take it. Contact on sonar, sir. Enemy sub bank two zero zero. How about uh, uh, sub? Uh, sub? Hey, guys, Willie, pick up a Japanese sub. Take your watches. Oh. <laughs> Who's got it? Who's got the lucky number? Oh nine one zero. Well, what do you know? I, I won again. <laughs> what the devil's going on here, Mikhail? What is all this? I, 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 I just won a ship's pool, sir. You won the Japanese sub. You better do something about that. Oh, uh, well, yes, you're so right, sir. Uh, all right, turn around fast and head for home. Relay that, is it? Look, I realize I'm only an observer here, but you can't mean that you're going to turn tail and run without firing a shot. Oh, uh, uh, well, well uh, I, I guess it would look kind of chintzy at that. Ah, uh, uh, torpedo man! Fire one! Are you kidding? The tube's rusted. I told you to get it fixed. What is all this nonsense anyway? You don't fire torpedoes at a sub when it's still submerged? Oh? Well, we do it all the time. Gino, you know, what do we keep missing? <laughs> Closing fast, sir. Oh, my goodness, where? Where is it? Where? There it is. I see the periscope. Periscope? Where? Uh, dead ahead. See it? Oh, good heavens! <laughs> 
Well, do something, fellas. Well, listen, how about setting off a depth charge? Ah, uh, yes, how about that? Uh, set off a depth charge, yes. What depth setting, sir? Oh, details, details, always details. Fire, fire, <laughs> Back there, it's up ahead, you blundering nitwit. Oh, that gets it. I can't go on. I can't. It's no use. It's no use. I haven't got but a chance. Stay on, sir. You can't give up now. The men need you. Heaven sakes, Mikhail. Pull yourself together. I can't do this. He'll be all right as soon as he has his cup of hot cocoa. Close contact with that sub, sir. Guess they didn't spot us. Very good, Sparks. I just can't believe it. A man with Mikhail's brilliant record cracking up like that. <laughs> Boy, what a performance. I can hear you way down here. <laughs> I really pulled out all the stops on that one. <laughs> that ought to put a singer and bring up this little scheme. <laughs> hey, Skip. Huh? I got a real contact, a sub, and it's coming in fast. Oh, no. Skip, what are we going to do? Well, I don't know. I... Oh, what a spot. Look, if we sink that sub, I'm sunk. Oh, you miserable, conniving bilge rat. You're the one that got me into this. Oh, Doug. Hey, now, wait a minute. You're going to get me out of it, too, buddy. What's your pitch, Skip? Hey, pass the word around. We've got a hot one. Come on. Willie, go on over to that sonar and keep singing it out to the bridge, buddy. Go on. Oh, you captain, you. Come with me. <laughs> Mr. Parker, I got a new contact. Enemy sub bearing 107. Knock it off, Willie. We already did that bit. You don't understand. We've got to do it. Aren't you men going to do something? Somebody, anybody, McHale. I'll take over, Mr. Parker. I've pulled myself together. Thanks to Captain Binghamton here. Uh, hold it, sir. Hold it steady. What the devil is it? Ah, uh, you've always been my inspiration. Taught me everything I know. I should have taught this before. With you at my side, sir, why I can conquer anything. Anything, right, sir? Right. <laughs> All hands, self quarters! Willie, give me a bearing on that sub. Steady at 107, sir. Ah, uh, 107. What's, 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 sir? What? Yes, sir. Come to 214. Come to 214. We'll intercept the enemy. Somebody must have spiked his cocoa. Quiet! You're interrupting Captain Binghamton. What's it? Yes, sir. I give you the estimated range. Thousand yards in closing. Thousand yards. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I heard. Yes, sir. Set the depth charges at 50 feet. Intercept mate, sir. We passed right over his tail. This one is for you, Captain Binghamton, sir. You've earned it. You've earned it, sir. <laughs> Hey, we scored a hit! Here hey, we got him! The Nips are coming up on deck! Yeah! Yeah! Good work! Mikhail? Oh, don't thank me, sir. Thank the captain. Without you, we couldn't have done it, Captain Liam. It was... It was a real one. But after all, he did capture the sub, didn't he? He did bring his crew in, the whole a bunch of prisoners, didn't he? Yeah, after putting me through a nightmare. <laughs> You know, for a while there, Mikhail almost had me believing his act. And you're not going to send him back to the States. Come on, Binghamton, don't be a pea brain. Any man who'd go to all that trouble to stay in action is a lot more valuable on a PT boat than he'd ever be behind a desk. Good day, sir. There must be a way. Tell me there's a way. <laughs> Commander McHale just left this for you, sir. Oh, sent my picture back, did he? All right, all right. Excuse me, sir. Shall I autograph it for the Commodore? 